it is tragic that many Christians spend a lot of times ni kweli kuwa wakristo wengi wanachukua muda sana fighting against one another wakipigana wenyewe kwa wenyewe forgetting the real enemy wakisahau adui wa kweli there are so many times you will find christians fighting against one another ni mara mingi utapata wakristo wakipigana wao kwa wao fighting wrong battles wakipigana vita vizio stahili fighting with the wrong things wakipigana na mambo ambayo stahili and they leave the actual enemy or they should be na wanaacha shetani ambaye anastahili kupigwa praise the lord amen but according to the word of the lord lakini kuligana na neno la mungu we need to understand who our real enemy tunahitaji kuelewa adui yetu wa kweli ni nani because when you realize the real enemy kwa sababu unapotambua adui wa kweli you will focus your energy on the real enemy utaelekeza nguvu zako kwa adui ambaye anastahili and there is a big likelihood when you know your enemy na, you will be able to overcome na kuna uwezekano mkubwa ya kwamba ukitambua adui wako utaenda kushinda but when you are fighting with everybody and everything lakini unapopigana na kila mtu na kitu chochote there is a big possibility regardless of how strong and how equipped you are you will still lose kuna uwezekano mkubwa haijalishi uko na nguvu kiasi gani na uko na uh, uh, asila kiasi gani utaenda kushinda but when you know the enemy you are fighting with lakini ukijua shetani ambaye unapigana naye the real or the real enemy is ukijua ibilisi wa kweli ni nani it will be very easy for you to win the battle itakuwa kwa urahisi kwako kushinda vita and that's why today we must identify who our real enemy is na ni lazima kwa hivyo lazima leo tukaweza kutambua adui wa kweli ni nani and after realizing who our real enemy is na tutakapoenda kutambua adui wetu wa kweli we will nani. be able to focus and direct all our force against the enemy. Tutaweza kutizamia na kuelekeza nguvu zetu kwa huyu adui. Praise the Lord. Amen. When we have this misconception of who our enemy is, wakati tukua katika hii hali ya kutoelewa adui wetu wa kweli ni nani? The enemy likes it that way. Wadui wao wanataka ikiwa hivyo. Because you know you will be fighting everything everywhere every time. Kwa sababu anajua atakuwa anapigana kitu chochote mahali popote wakati wote. You will not be able to concentrate your strength. Na utaweza kumakinika na nguvu zako. Because of that misconception, na kutoa kufahamu huko, the enemy is able to destroy many people. Adui yako na uweza wa kuharibu watu wengi. Spiritually kwa kiroho mentally kwa kiakili physically na kimwili and even economically na hata kwa, kwa kupitia kwa uchumi because you do not know who your enemy is kwa sababu hautambui adui wako ni nani but when you know the enemy you are fighting is lakini ukijua ndui ambao unapigana naye then you will be able to live a successful christian life basi utakuwa una uwezo wa kuishi maisha ufanisi we must know that the enemy we have is the devil and the demons lazima ukaweza kuelewa ndio tunaye ni shetani na, na mapepo a brother may raise against you ndugu anaweza kukuinukia a sister may talk about you dada anaweza kukuongelelea do you know they are being instigated by the enemy it is the enemy who pushes them to do that which they do against you lakini unajua ni kana kwamba ni shetani ambaye mawasukumo akafanya kila ambacho anakufanyia and the enemy would want you to concentrate with that person per se na shetani anataka kaweze kufuatilia huyo mtu peke yake the enemy would want you to concentrate on fighting your fellow brother so that now he himself stands a loop without an attack shetani anapenda sana kaweze kumakinika na kupigana na ndugu yako ndiposa akaweze kupata ushindi praise the lord Amen. So we must understand who the enemy we are fighting is. Kwa hivyo lazima tukaelewa tunapigana na imbilisi yupi. Because when we know our enemy, kwa sababu tunapojua imbilisi wetu, we will win our battle. Tutashinda vita vyetu. Bible 